We're back, guys, with another one. Say hi. Hi, banana. Right? We're gonna take a nature one. walk. Oh, you wanna go on a different one than we went on last week? Yeah. But yeah, we're about to go take a nature walk. Um, Alfonso's in Atlanta, so it's just gonna be me and the boys. I'm about to go pick up Ari, and then we're gonna take you guys along on our little journey, our little walk. You want to go see this again? Yeah, guys. So we made I it here. I, I don't. I don't see. No, that's a. That's a. What the heck does that say? Wait, wait. Blew it. Damselflies. Oh, they're. Oh, they're mating. Oh, oh, oh wow. There's two of them. All right, you guys want to start heading over and walking? Let's go take our walk. Yeah. All right. Come on, bubbles. I don't know about any of you guys, but I love nature trails and being in nature. I just feel like, like, man, I'm, I don't know. I feel like a spiritual connection or something. <laughs> Am I weird? I'm serious. I feel like a spiritual connection to nature. Like it makes me feel like, it's like meditative for me. I don't know. Anytime I'm by water, trees, flowers, that's, I love it. Watch out for bikes. Let's turn to the side, guys. Walk to the side. Hi. <laughs> watch out, guys. Come on. Walk, 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 walk. Hey guys, it's actually two days later from the last time I was <laughs> vlogging with the boy. Fonzie Ramsey's back from Atlanta. And uh, we're just enjoying a beautiful day out with the family. And I think we're about to go ahead and get some ice cream. Here, see? Vanilla bean, slam dunk. So I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna like it. Yeah, try it. Do you like it? You like it? Nothing over here when we did the boardwalk. <gasps> it was all cause now I remember. I remember how it looked. Two years ago. That was two years ago, babe. Come on, Ari. Cause Ari was in a stroller. Come on this way, bud. Yeah. Oh, I remember all this. <laughs> what, boo-boos? He's scared of the bridge, guys. Come on. Walk. He's scared. Come on, babe. Why can I not take Come on, Ari. <laughs> I'm right here. What's wrong? You got it, boo And babe, he's he hates this. He hates bridges. <laughs> Come on, you got it. <laughs> See, you did it. You did it. <laughs> He's like, mommy. So we came over here like two years ago, but all of these buildings and restaurants and stuff, they were not here. It was all construction. This is like a whole different world.
Oh wow, this is nice. They did good. Scream. Come on, boo boos. Come on, baby. Let's go. Babe, when did all this get here? I am tripping right now. What? Come on, Ari. Come on, baby. Be there, sushi. Then we go there for coffee. Man, wait, where's? Oh. Yeah, Lucky Hotel and Apartments. Sparrow Coffee. That sounds kind of bougie. All right, I like that. Shops here. Oh my goodness! I'm just drinking a, a green smoothie. It has like kale in it, spinach, pineapple, and stuff like that. I'm on my health tip now, guys, because I, I was having stomach problems, like where I would be bloated and had a lot of stomach pain, and and I would get migraines really bad. And then this guy, Dr. Berg, and he was saying. People with stomach problems and migraines should go on a keto diet. So now, so that's what I've been doing for like the past two weeks. And I have to say, guys, so far so good. Just Google it and you'll see what it, what it entails. But basically, it's like you just don't really eat carbs. Bread, pasta, baked goods. And I'm, I'm telling you, for the past two weeks, I felt wonderful energy up. No stomach problems. Knock on wood, I haven't had any migraines. But just, just a tip, if anybody has been having like stomach problems with migraines, you might want to try getting on the keto diet.